Folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange, joined by David. Hey, what's happening? Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you doing, man? I'm doing all right. We have some very special guitars. Very special guitars. And how it came about, we went to San Diego. We did go to San Diego. Why we, did we go there? We went to San Diego because this guy named Andy Powers, who yeah. is the CEO of Taylor Guitars, uh, has come up with a new electric guitar called Powers Electric. Totally separate of Taylor. Mm -hmm. It is not a Taylor affiliated. It's his own thing. It's his own yeah. situation, even though it's there. He's using some of the, he's borrowing some of the tools yeah. there yeah. to make these guitars. But it was an immersive experience. Uh, more, more about his life yeah. and how uh, he grew up and how Southern California uh, surf culture and hot rod culture music influenced, and yep. you know, his his music and ultimately the creation of these guitars. Yeah. So what we have here is the first offering from Powers Electric, mm -hmm. which is an A-type model, which is named after the Jaguar car, automobile. The car. Yeah. Just say it again. Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, we should let everyone know that we were one of a small group of yeah. dealers we that lucky. got to go, to that, that were a part of this. A very select, small, small handful of dealers from around the country who got to, you know, get uh, a peak, more more than a peak, a, a, an immersive experience, yeah. you know, into these guitars and, and what went into them and what inspired Andy. We got to hang out with Andy for an entire day, his entire crew at Taylor. Yeah. We get to Taylor, we walk in, Taylor Factory, uh, and we go into this room. Andy's there. The guitars are there. All you know, the vendors, the workshop, the, the, workshop, whole, yeah, the vendors yeah. are there. And he starts the whole thing off by talking about how you are heavily influenced based upon where you come from. Fun, yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. he's born and raised Southern California, born and raised surfer, skateboarder, hot rod culture, yeah. and it wasn't until he you know traveled you know, a lot later in life that he realized how much Southern California really influenced like the rest of the world. Yeah. You know, everything, surf, surf culture, you know, skate culture. Rock and roll. And rock and roll, yeah, hot yeah. rods, the whole thing. So, you know, these guitars have come later in his guitar journey. You know, he didn't start mm. making electric guitars, you know. So I feel like that stew has been boiling. It's been brewing for a it's while, It's been right? brewing. Yeah. A lot of, <laughs> it's like a chili, a really nice chili. Yeah. It is a fully hollow guitar, yeah. uh, but the cool thing 
you know, he, he made a point to talk about how semi-hollow and hollow guitars can have feedback issues, as we all know, yeah, yeah. you know, on stage. So what this guitar accomplishes is a solid body reaction to feedback, which is none, mm. but produces a semi-hollow, hollow sound, yeah. which is so cool. And he achieved that by basically joining the top and the back together with this proprietary uh, bridge post yeah. system. Basically the gist of it, without getting too caught up in the minutia of it, is that the top and the back are working together. And Andy describes it as the guitar kind of moving this way, moving together in harmony, rather than fighting each other. No, yeah, yeah. Another cool thing too is it's V-braced. Yeah. Just, which is, you know, obviously from Taylor Guitars, even though this is entirely separate of Taylor Guitars, he did take that technology that he created and, and applied it here because he likes how that structure... Boom. Are, you, are you checking yourself out? Is that yeah. what I just seen? I just saw one <laughs> of my, I just saw a gun, I was like, look at that. <laughs> but <laughs> that, that stays. I mean, I think it'd be cool to talk about some of the certain things. I mean, straight away, one of the things I absolutely love is is the knobs. The knobs are cool. I mean, amazing knobs. I have a story about the knobs. I bet you do. I can tell you the story about the knobs. Go on then. Right. So the the cool thing about these knobs, I thought this was so neat. So we're seeing this workshop with, uh, I forget her name, but she was a world world so champion, champion in surfing. And the gentleman who was with Andy and her, I believe is a historian, he's a writer yeah, a of, local surf, kind of, of surf culture, yeah. but he's kind of a legend in the surf world. Yeah. So these knobs are so cool because uh, as Andy was explaining, when you're, when you're painting a surfboard, you basically take resin and your color and an accelerator, you mix it all together, you put it on the board, you squeegee it real fast so it doesn't set because it cures really fast. Mm. But from the sides, you get these, you know, the drippings from all of this mixture, which forms like these stalagmites, which yeah. are like, you know, those yeah, cones, yeah. you know? And uh, after about three weeks of making surfboards, you know, you come along with a shovel, you knock that stuff off the ground. And for Andy, he was like, well, why don't we, we make something we can out use of it? these, yeah, yeah. And that's what these knobs are. Yeah, and they're now, gorgeous. You know, when you hold these guitars up next to a surfboard, the lines- It makes sense. It makes total sense, yeah. man. Yeah. So I, I just think that's the neatest thing, even even this this trim system here. Yeah, now more on this trim system. Vibrato system. A vibrato system. Even the way this cam tail is machined looks very automotive. Yeah. This back plate is extremely oh, yeah, automotive. That, exactly, yeah. And the, the, the detail on that. Oh, it's so cool. You get lost just looking at that. Even the pickup covers too, you're, you, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah. This aluminum right here as well, so. Yeah. Um, I think you take surf culture, you take hot rod culture, uh, you blend it all together, but then you take a guy that also loves pedal steel. Yeah. Which is such a, you can't be out of tune with pedal steel. Yeah, like, you can. Well, you can you, be, but you, you don't probably wanna don't want to yeah. be. <laughs> so he took all of those lessons from pedal steel and yeah. applied that to this proprietary system that he built. Yeah. Um, and the, the long and short of it, without getting so caught up in the minutia, is that when you engage this, all of these strings move to in, in unison and get right back to a zero. So you're always in tune. You're yeah. never, you don't have an A that's out, yeah. you know, an E that's in, whatever. Yeah. Which is very cool. And you can feel it. I mean, it's yeah. like, 
I mean, the amazing thing as well was when, he, so if you wanted it to be, I think, floating, I believe you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. he literally took, so, I mean, if, I, if you were to bring a, a regular type of Bigsby to a shop, I imagine it'd be a bigger job to, you know, mess around, but mm. you literally just got the Allen key into there, 10 seconds later, boom, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Which was pretty really special, cool. you know, to, to see that, just as simple and quick as it was. Very cool, yeah. You know? <laughs> I mean, they look great. Now, the pickups. <clears throat> Basically with these, with to Andy, according to Andy, you, you have in most pickups, a strong magnetic field that's going around these strings. It's making them in electric guitars, causing a lot of sonic interference. They're, yeah. they're instead of behaving the way that a string would with like an acoustic guitar, mm -hmm. you know, which would be a natural, the, I guess the way the string would want to exist in its natural habitat. Yeah, yeah. With electric guitars, because of magnets, those strings move like, almost like in an egg shape, right? They yeah, just, yeah. they move in a way they shouldn't, in right. a natural way, a way that he doesn't like. So what he's done is he's kind of created like a Faraday cage to kind of control that magnetism that would normally interfere with all of these strings. Hmm. I know that's very nerdy. Listen. But, <laughs> But I'll tell you- He doesn't know if you're right or wrong, so that's why he's keeping quiet, the producer. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, it is It is no BS, and this is, I thought this was so cool. I don't know what the what the device was that he used. Remember he took that- Oh, the, t uh, the, it reads, the magnetism or something. It reads like magnetism, polar, right? I don't know what it was. <clears throat> it's cool though. So he takes this neodymium magnet, puts it next to this this device, and the thing just flies off. The needle yeah. just goes, just ape shit. It goes yeah. crazy. Yeah. Then he applies it to the strings, and you see, this is where you want to be. You see that needle kind of go like that? Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. As he moves it all the way through. Yeah. So the point being, he's now tamed that wild magnetism that would normally happen in, in pickups that control, you know, that's causing fragments to happen yeah. sonically that you don't want, mm. and just got rid of it. It's, just, it's crazy to, to go through all it's that so process. Cool. The things that it's you wouldn't so cool. think of. You know? And that's why aluminum is on this yeah. pickup cover, because that that is that is what's preventing that magnet from just going wild. Yeah. Now, it's funny that you brought up uh, the Faraday kind of cage mm -hmm. thing earlier. What people should know is there's two sets of pickups. Your pickups are different to mine. Yep. Now, my pickups are called the FF42s. Right. Full Faraday 42s. Yep. And yours are? PF42, so partial Faraday 42. Right, now sonically or sound-wise, what's going on? So, uh, first first cool thing is that the PF can always be identified because the pickup, or I'm sorry, the pick guard material will always match, uh, or if it matches the material on the pickup, then you know that's a partial that's, Faraday. That's PF, right. So Andy says that this is a really bright, lively pickup, and I remember like hearing it. This is if you want a guitar that's, you know, you want that, Telly muscle. You can get more of a twang, so to speak, with that. Yeah, right, but a little okay. bit more like more more Rounded. more uh it's a little more gnarly. Yeah. Nice. Maybe maybe harsh. Whereas yeah. this one is much more of a semi-hollow, mellower kind of sound. Yeah. I vi I definitely remember him. He's such a great player. When he played yeah, this, yeah. when he played this pickups, it just sounded so beautiful. Yeah. There's and that they're so quiet. Yeah. Like whisper quiet. Yeah. I mean, even these are extremely quiet. <laughs>
So for Woods, he did, uh, or used rather, Urban Ash Back and Sides, mm -hmm. and then Maple Tops. And some of these are gonna be solid colors, and then some of them will be translucent. So you'll be able yeah. to see, you know, Flame Maple, that sort of thing. The fingerboard material is Honduran Rosewood, and then it's got a mahogany neck. Yeah. Yeah. And it all comes together quite nicely. Oh, it's beautiful. Dovetail joint neck. Yep. Not a bolt-on. Oh, you know what's so cool? Go on. Do you know what he did? I thought it was so neat. I don't know if you remember he said this, but... So he created this contour right here. And the reason he did it, because he wanted it to be comfortable. Yeah. You know, strats are comfortable. But by tensioning that maple, he basically created a different sonic footprint for this top that normally wouldn't exist. Mm. And it, remember he used the example of taking a bow and, and one of those uh, saws, you know those oh, big, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, if you take one of those saws and you move it in a different position yeah. and you, you know, put a bow over it, it'll give you a different sound versus yeah. in this position. The more yeah. tension you give it, it creates a different, you know, different sound. Tension, whatever, yeah. And so by that little tweak, he basically accomplished the exact same thing. So you yeah. get a super lively top. Hmm. Yeah, which I mean, that's crazy, man. So just obviously unplugged, it's, you know. That is loud. I mean, it's loud yeah. like an acoustic guitar. Yeah, exactly. You can sit on your couch and play this thing. Oh yeah, definitely. colors because yeah. this color is fjord green which is a porsche color it's a porsche color right fjord fjord is that what i said i didn't, I didn't listen did I, I, I was gonna let it go <coughs> did i say <laughs> he wanted to correct it what i was I say, gonna let it go I, smart a, ass over it what a joke <laughs> did i say what did i call it fjord right what color we got here fjord <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I know those things in Norway. You know what I love? Have you ever had a good Merlot? <laughs> so we got four Fjord, Fjord, right? Fjord. Fjord green. Fjord green. And what is that? What 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 is that? It's green. <laughs> it's a Porsche color. Oh yeah. Yeah. We have a what Porsche? I don't know. A great looking color now. Fifties color, I think. It's right. like a fifties fifties era Porsche. It's got to be right. Yeah, yeah. Which no. again goes back to the you know automotive yeah. inspiration. Exactly. Right, so what color have we got here then? This one is crystal red metallic. Obviously, all this looks great, sounds great, amazing. <clears throat> yeah. The case. Oh man, it's probably case. The, the best guitar case Definitely the best I may have ever seen. Best case ever. Yes. I love this little detail. It, it, it's just it's just a cool detail. Yeah. Number one, the case just looks so cool. Oh, look at that. This material is from Can, the interior of a Porsche. Yes. Porsche. Can we get a suit made out of that? Or a yeah, flat cap? absolutely. But like a flat cap, that'd be good. Get a banana hammock made out of that. You could, that's amazing. What's a banana hammock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Is that what they're called? A banana hammock? That's what they say. What all right. Say. And the, one thing that he said is that he wants to see his guitar the way that it's seen on stage. Yeah. And when you open up your guitar case, it's never that It's never way. the way you, you, right. you want it, yeah. So the reason that he positioned the zipper the way it is and the way that it is laid out the way it is is so that when you open your guitar... It looks as if you were in the audience looking at it, kind you of. You can, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. you can see your guitar. Yeah. Which I thought was so cool. Yeah. It's just a little detail. It's the, att the attention to detail that is uh, the crazy thing. Even that little block Oh, there. I love I mean, this. Look at this that. is so cool. Yeah. Brilliant. 
So you can see like how all of the influences come together. It was an incredible experience. I mean, yeah. super cool to have been one of a handful of, of dealers in the world yeah. who were there. Yeah. I mean, their team was amazing. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, it was great, fantastic. And everyone, yeah, we, like I said, we, we were kind of pampered, you know, so big shout out to all the people there, Aaron and, and whatnot. Um, a great experience and, you know, wonderful guitars that I can't imagine are gonna to last too long. No, no, these all. things, these are not gonna last. There's no way. And just cool to see how his his life and his, you know, journey in Southern California with and you know, all the things he's experienced kind of led, led to, this. to this. It's point, just I so suppose, neat, yeah. you know, yeah. and I, I, I think that the vision he had has had in his head likely for decades, you know, has, has come to fruition and definitely paid off. They're fantastic guitars. I would love to sit like this for the whole thing, but we can't, right? I can do what you want. I, just, I, I want to start off with the with the Oasis. Are we ready? Are we rolling? Drew, roll. All right. So how do you how do you play uh, the beginning to uh, Don't Look Back in Anger? The the actual <laughs> intro, the piano intro. Yeah, the, the part everyone knows. Let's see. Wait, the part everyone knows. Well, the, I, look, the intro is like this. C. Yeah. F major seven. No, not that part. No. no. And then a little piano. All right, the verse. Yeah, yeah the verse. verse. So slip inside the out. Yeah, yeah, that right, one. So da da da, and G da da da, A minor da da da, E major da da da, the F major da da da, da G coming up. So there's C coming up. Da, da. A minor G. So that's the first, uh, like the. So verses. I could be an Oasis right now. Is well, what you're saying? Uh, <laughs> maybe. Listen, if anyone's getting an oasis, it'll be me before you. <laughs> with the help of God. I hear please. they're getting back together. That's the rumor on the street. Uh, they need eventually. to get themselves some Powers Guitars action. Yes, they do. That's why we're here, right? The pottery deal. Pottery yeah, they, they make and, pots. And they had, yeah. Like, like cool, like, uh, like in Ghost. Ghost. <laughs> 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 like in Ghost. Should we reenact that? If you want. I mean, look, we got one of those spinny chairs. You can do that. <laughs> Just oh like, a, you don't look impressed. <laughs> I was just trying to think if, you, if you're Patrick Swayze or uh, Demi Moore. He's got to be Demi Moore. I'll be Demi Moore. Make the internet happy. We'll put like Sweet Home Alabama over here talking. How's that? Is it literally important? Yeah. Yeah. So dope. That's, that's cool. Yeah. It was like, uh, okay, ready? So cool. Hell yeah. Oh, oh that's, that's so cool, Andy. Thank you. Thank you. That's so nice. Yeah. This is fucking great. Or, I mean, freaking. <laughs> Gosh darn it. Sorry. Damn it. Okay, I mean, there's, there's other things in here that we haven't yet talked about. Okay, you guys also probably know that I'm a I'm an avid surfer, big surf enthusiast. We live in kind of the middle of surfing culture. Okay? The knobs. We're either making the knobs on these things. The knobs